In this video, I'll be comparing the new Guild of Dreams artifact set with Yamiko's previous artifact sets in many different ways. After the comparison, I'll talk about how you can build it properly and some of her uses. So first, I'll be testing using 2-piece Gladiators with 2-piece Shimanawa, then 2-piece Thundering Fury with 2-piece Shimanawa slash 2-piece Gladiators, and finally, I'll be using 4-piece Thundering Fury. And for the variations for the Guild of Dream set, first I'll be using Guild of Dreams with 230 EM plus an attack person stance. And then next I'll be using 230 EM plus an EM stance. And finally I'll be using 180 EM, meaning two party members having the same element and an EM stance. Also ignore the numbers themselves because I'm using a test build. The numbers are not that high, but at the end I'll show you my real build. Now for the damage output for Guild of Dreams without reactions, it's actually not that strong, which makes sense because... It only provides you with EM and not attack percent like how the normal artifact sets do. So as you can see, normal artifact sets are doing better by like 300 and so, but it's still not that far back. Now for her skill though, you might not know this, but her skill actually gets buffed by EM. So not just the reactions, but also her E gets buffed by the EM. And you're gonna see later on how good her skill is because of this buff. But at the moment, you're gonna see she's still gonna be a bit weaker. But that's because the 4-piece hasn't been activated. And for that, you need a reaction. Now for her ult though, Guild of Dreams is gonna be really bad because there's no EM buff. Plus, there's no reaction here. And her ult doesn't get buffed by EM. So you're gonna see the Guild of Dreams set do way worse than her skill and her normal attacks because there's more damage and the difference between the two numbers is also larger. So as you can see, the normal artifacts did so much better than the Guild of Dreams artifact set and especially for the ones with the EM sands. Now it's time for Aggravate and you're gonna see the results change drastically. So first for her normal attack, the damage difference won't be that huge because the attack itself is not getting buffed by the EM unlike her skill but you also need to keep in mind that aggravate works differently than vaporize and melt the attack itself doesn't get buffed by two or three there's damage added to your attack which we can see for her skill plus aggravate you're gonna see some huge damage bonuses as you can see 14,000, 16,000, and keep in mind this is my test build and my real build can do like 26,000 or even more it's just so much better than the normal artifact sets as you can see it's almost better by twice the damage than the normal artifact sets and now for Hyper Bloom, you already know who's gonna be better. It's of course gonna be Guild of Dreams with the amount of EM it provides while the normal artifact sets provide you with none. And that's the reason why I didn't test it out for the other two artifact sets because you're gonna get the same amount of damage. It just depends on the amount of EM you have. I also tested for Electro Charge as some of you may use Electro Charge. So I said, why not? And it's again the same thing with Guild of Dreams doing more damage because it's a reaction. The normal artifact sets are not that great. The EM provided by the Guild of Dreams artifact set is just so much better. As you can see, Guild of Dreams is just amazing for Yaimiko due to how her skill works. As you can see, due to this skill, or sorry, this talent, her E gets buffed by 15% by every elemental mastery point. That's why her skill does so much damage well, with Guild Dreams. I personally will be using Guild Dreams with an EM cup for Yamiko instead of an attack person cup, but an attack person cup is also fine too. And about the Guild of Dreams bonus, as you can see, it depends on your party members. If you have the same elements or the different elements, I would recommend having Yae plus another character for aggregate teams. But for Hyper Blooms, just having Yamiko is also fine. And also if you're using Yaimiko for like aggravate teams, make sure you have like a lot more crit rate. Like even though I have 50 to 252 which is really good, you need a lot more crit rate for Yaimiko if you're using aggravate because of the way aggravate works. To get the huge damage buff, you need both your attack and the aggravate buff to crit. So have at least 50% crit rate. Though you should definitely go for more. And about the artifact sets I didn't use in my tests such as Thunder Suitor and Emblem of Severed Fate. Now I've seen a few people use these artifact sets but I don't personally recommend them like even though Thunder Suitor is actually pretty good like if you can see it's 4 piece bonus which increases your damage by 35% is really good but you need to have them be affected by Electro at all times and if you don't have this available at all times this set's just not good, so I don't really want to use a set like that. For Emblem of Seraphine, as you can see, it buffs your ER and also gives you a lot of damage for your burst. But I personally think Yaimiko's strong point is her skill, not her burst. So I would prefer having Guild Dreams, which gives you more EM, so your skill can be even stronger. And at the same time, it is also buffing your ult. I also wanted to show you how good Yaimiko can be with the proper build. The one I was using was just for testing, and my real build does a lot more. So I have these two teams, which I mostly use. 
This is my accurate team for Yaimiko, and this is my Hyper Bloom team. I personally think this one is more cooler, so I'm gonna show you this first. So let me go into a domain and show you guys how good Yaimiko can be. So this is my Hyper Bloom team. I absolutely love this team. There's so many reactions that you can do with this team. So for example, sometimes I use Yaimiko and Kokomi. Sometimes it's just Kazuha swirling around elements. Sometimes I'm using Yaimiko with a Traveler. It's pretty crazy. You're gonna see how quickly these enemies will die. First, you're gonna see me swirl Electro. And then after that, I'm gonna use a Traveler to, you know, apply Quicken, you know, for my Electro attacks. Then switch to Kokomi to create Seat. And then finally Yaimiko to end them all. And 3, 2, 1, they're dead. Okay. 46,000 at the end so yeah this is pretty good now this team here is not my favorite but it's still pretty good and can easily i think clear abyss uh floor 12 uh but it's not just yai miko doing all the damage it's both yai miko and fischl who will deal damage in this team so it's both fischl and yai miko catalyzing because it was not just yai miko who was buffed in the update it was also fischl and as you can see there are a lot of numbers on the screen and they're gonna die any second now three two one yep they're dead so this the seam is pretty good electro units mostly don't deal a lot of damage with one single attack like hu tao but often work by doing many attacks at once which may be weaker but accurate buffs just that the attacks themselves don't get multiplied by some number but some amount of damage is added and this damage added depends on your character's level which then gets buffed by em which guild the dreams provides and some other stats too. So make sure you level up your Yaimiko to level 90 if you can. This damage is then added to your attacks and can make your attacks, which may not do a lot of damage, like for example Yaimiko's skill, do a lot more. This doesn't really buffer ult by a lot, because again, the ult won't do 2 extra damage, damage will just be added on. Anyways, if you're curious about my build, here's the build I'm using currently. The Witset, first of all, it's a pretty good weapon, especially because of the EM, if you get it sometimes. Uh, I do need more refinements, but it's fine for now. Then my artifact sets, of course, kill the dreams with some really good artifacts. As you can see, crit rate and crit damage all around. Except for this, but you'll get one in the future. C0 and 999. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope this helped you guys. This video took me a very long time to record and, you know, edit. Took me, I guess, about 20 hours. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to help me out, you can, I guess, like the video. And if you really want to help me out, you can subscribe. And yeah, anyways, that's all. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.